Hey everyone, it's Mr. Graber here again. Uh, this time, this video will be discussing free fall. There's a few other video links that I'll be sending you to to also explain free fall. But think of it this way if you were to drop any object from rest, so the initial velocity was zero, that this object due to gravitational pull of the Earth, that the, what we call the acceleration due to gravity, that this object would accelerate, and we usually use the term, we use, we use the letter G, at 9.81 meters per second squared, or meters per second per second. We're gonna round that number, make it much easier to 10. 10 meters per second per second. That means that this object will fall to the ground and increase its rate of speed at 10 meters per second as every second that goes by. So let's take a look at this. So let's say that you're holding an object at rest and let's say we're videotaping it. And the moment that you let it drop, we videotaped it and every second we took a look at where that object would be. Well, one second later, the object might be right about here. Two seconds later, where the object would be, it would not be the same distance. It would be even further down. So that object would be all the way down here. At t equals, I'm sorry, one second t equals two seconds. It would be all the way down here. And if it was to continue to fall, it wouldn't be that much distance down here. It would be all the way down here at t equals three seconds. So hopefully you see that this looks very similar to that spark timer tape that we were using as an object speeds up. Let's take a look at a couple of the formulas. So one of the formulas we're gonna use is when an object is dropped from rest, we're gonna say that the initial velocity is zero. So we're gonna say that the final velocity or the velocity at any moment in time is gonna equal the acceleration due to gravity, which is going to be 10 meters per second squared times the time that went by. So in that case, the object first would be at zero meters per second. One second later, it'd be moving at 10 meters per second. Two seconds later, it'd be moving at 20 meters per second. Three seconds later, it'd be moving at 30 meters per second. Four seconds, 40. Five seconds, 50. So the rate at which the velocity increases by would be 10 meters per second per second. That one is typically very easy for students to understand. The second one is the distance, the distance between or the total distance that the object falls from where it starts. So we're talking about this distance here all the way down to the bottom. Well, this formula we use a lot of times displacement is delta x, but for this video here, I'm gonna use d. It might be easier for you. d equals one half g times t squared. Squared is very important. So let's take a look at that. If we were to figure out how far the object went from here to here, we would take the formula d equals one-half gt squared. So we would say d equals one-half ten one squared. Well, one times one is one, times ten is ten, take half. So the distance from here to here would be five meters. What about the distance from here to here? Well, that would be two seconds. So the same formula, d equals one half 10, two squared. Well, two times two is four, 
times 10 is 40, take half is 20. That means from here all the way down to here would be 20 meters. Think about it. On average, going from 0 to 10, on average, it would move 5 meters. Going from 0 to 20 meters per second, on average, that would be 10. So if you think about it, between 10 and 20, the average is 15. And 15 plus 5 would be 20. What about from 0 all the way down to the bottom, all the way down to 30? Well, again, coming back to this formula, d equals 1 half, 10, 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9, times 10 is 90, take half. So all the way from here, all the way down here, to the very bottom, all of that distance would be 45 meters. Hopefully this helps you out while watching the other videos on free fall.